my boyfriend can't eat wheat anymore so he's left those with me because they got wheat in them i don't know why they've got flour in them but so now i've got to eat more such a shame <laughs> hello everyone welcome to another studio vlog today i'm going to show you some bits i've been working on for um some commission um and it's off my site fiverr um you may have been on fiverr before but if not then um i'll leave a link below um, and you can have a look and see how it works it works basically as a platform for you to um have gigs um offered to clients um basically available all around the world so you're open for commissions in lots of different things um it's not just design um there's a lot of stuff like uh, proofreading and there's a lot of editing and um i think well pretty much anything you could ask someone to do but um based on how much skill they have in that area they can charge more or less um so i've been on there for quite a few years now um, but I've only just gone back on again because I took my, well not took my profile down, but I decided not to do it for quite a long time because commissions do take quite a long time, um, as you can understand. Um, but now I'm trying to work with it. So I've got a lim limited amount of um, packages offered or gigs, however they call it. Um, and then uh, just working on the things that I actually want to do as uh, part of my illustration work. So um, I've got some couple portraits, um, pet portraits, um, and black and white ink drawings for um, older, um, older children, oh, young adults, sorry, and older children books. Um, so like uh, that you'd have uh, in, in big bits of text and then you have a half page. Um, illustration on it. Wow, that's a noisy bike going by. Um, so hopefully that's not too distracting. I'm doing this commission for a couple portrait for a wedding present. I'm going to show you some bits now. reminder that uh, drawings sometimes to turn out uh, a lot better than you start them off. <laughs> Ta-da! Much better. So this is the final commission. Um, this is what I've sent off to the um, client and I really hope they like it. Um, they haven't come back to me yet, so uh, but I, I did finish it very late last night. Um, very last minute, as usual. Um, but uh, I think it's, it's worked out really well. Um, I've tried to keep the likeness of the couple as much as possible um, to respect their privacy i'm not going to pop their photo up um but they um are having this as a wedding present apparently um so i hope they really enjoy it yeah so you can see the original um trying to give you a close-up of of what the the texture looks like i don't know if my camera is very good at showing that um but um so when i put it into photoshop um i just altered the colours a bit so that it makes it more vibrant for print um, and just making sure that when it is printed it's not just going to look really um, because watercolour can kind of look a bit flat um, and a little bit bland when it's first scanned in. Um, let me see if I can find the original scan actually. So um, you can see the original um, how 
it loses a lot of the colours. It just goes like one flat colour and I think it just picks up a lot of the yellow. Um, but in the final one, which is this one here, it's got a lot more vibrant and when it's printed, you'll be able to see a lot more of the details. Um, and also because I use a brown pen, um, I think that the uh, brown, like the red and, and the brown um, in the ink um, is picked up more when I increase things like the contrast and um, the colour balance in certain ways. So yeah, you can see how it's uh, definitely a different uh, uh, vibe. <laughs> As I have only just really gone back to my illustrating after years of, um, well, going into hibernation, um, I've realised a lot of my supplies are actually um, quite old um, and probably in need of replacement. Um, I don't have much money at the moment, so I wanted to get something that is of good quality, but also um, kind of cheaper. Um, so I went on Timu and had a look and I found watercolour brushes. Um, actually looked quite quite good and I was like oh yes that'd be nice um so this is a set of seven um I believe they're synthetic brushes but I don't think that matters so much with watercolor personally um I just tried it with um well in comparison to my own brushes that I have which are Winsor and Newton um I do have a ones by Daily Daila is it Daila Rowley um which are a little bit cheaper but my Windsor and Newton ones are actual uh hair or boar hair or whatever you call it I think it's a natural a natural hair brush um I'm just doing a comparison between the two just show you how much water you can get on there with the color and um, so that was just one dunk of the watercolor one dunk or one dip <laughs> um and you can do uh the whole square with the other one the Windsor and Newton one um but I found there was a lot more wa water being held by these ones from Timu um which is interesting but I think the main thing might be because they are a little bit bigger um as in longer and I think there's a lot more bristles in each um, one like these are size three but they looked completely different sized <laughs> so not sure how they do the sizing of brushes um, I did try um, a number one brush as well um, and saw that the detailing was actually better or the hold of the watercolour and control of it was better with my brush, which is my Dola Rowley um, brush. Um, I do hope I'm saying that right because um, it sounds weird, but you don't usually talk about it. So um, it's Dola Rowley, sorry. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I... I tried the number one in the um, Timu brush and it just didn't seem to be as good. Um, maybe for fine details, they're just not as good because it's very long. The brush was long. It's kind of hard to control. Um, but with the bigger brushes, it was a lot easier to use. So I don't know. Um, I think they'll be good for me because... Um, I like to experiment quite a lot with my watercolour and I'm quite messy and I am not precise or anything like that. So these would be good for me. But they're just basic brushes. Um, so I thought that was good. If you want to order them, they are available on Timu. I'll put a link down below. Just wanted to show you um, this actually really handy thing that I got from Ikea recently. I found it in the children's section in Ikea. But it's a little tiny bin and a little tiny dustpan and brush <laughs> um, and it's just really handy to use on my desk because I make so much mess with uh, pencil sharpenings and my rubber you know that when you're rubbing out stuff and um, bits of rubber all over the desk and then I end up having like so much dirt and debris everywhere that it just gets in the way of my illustrations and when I'm doing my watercolour so um, I got that no I think it was only like three pound so that was pretty good. Uh, trying to just sort out my social media presence as well and just make sure it's more professional, more like streamlined. And um, I did download Linktree because um, I've seen a lot of other artists use it. Um, so that in Instagram, because Instagram is the main platform that I'll use um, because it's really handy for illustration because there's so many um, images. <laughs> like it's image based, isn't it? So, um, uh, 
I'm going to sort that out. So I've got it on my Instagram. Um, I created a card for a work colleague who's going off on sick leave shortly. I myself, I've, I've always enjoyed handmade gifts more than something someone's just brought me. Um, because you can feel uh, more from it. It makes you feel like they took that time to create something for you and it's special and it's one of a kind, genuine gift from the heart. <laughs> So I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog and I hope you stick around for other vlogs in the future. Um, I'd like to get another one up in a week or so's time and uh, maybe we can revisit the greetings cards that I started before. I had to wait till I could get paid so that I can order them. Um, so I can get those ordered, make sure that they look good um, and other bits I'm probably going to be working on is my book, the new book, um, which is really at the early stages still, but um, yeah, going to get some of those bits done. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you soon anyway. Um, thank you so much for watching and I appreciate you all supporting me here on my journey and I hope to see you in the next vlog. Bye!